Good afternoon, Strato. This is a friendly reminder to take the trash cans to the curb. It's trash day. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for our area. Radar confirms this showing several large storm cells moving toward our region. We're likely to begin feeling impacts within the hour. Buckle up. Are all the doors and windows closed? Anything else to worry about right now? Doors and windows are secure, but it looks like someone may be showering. It's risky to be showering during an electrical storm. If someone is indeed showering, you should ask them to wrap it up. What makes you think that someone is showering right now? The Navy and boiler is currently producing a high volume of hot water, the bathroom lights are on, and the bathroom humidity is above 90%. This suggests someone may be showering in the master bathroom. Too smart for your own good, Lorelai. Well, thank you for the information. I'll make sure to stay safe. You're welcome. Stay safe. Aside from being a fun party trick, I absolutely love being able to take something old, which is otherwise obsolete, and applying it to something brand new, like Home Assistant and AI. And it's fairly simple to get all this going. All you need is a voice over IP box, like this Grandstream HG801, and a router. You gotta connect everything up pretty easily. Take your analog phone, connect it to the green port, and take a standard Ethernet cable, connect it to the blue port, and connect the other side to your router. And then once everything is powered up, Home Assistant should detect the voice over IP box on the network and pop up the integration within Home Assistant. And then really it's a few clicks to pair it with your particular assist pipeline. And then you can start using the action assist satellite announce to start sending calls and messages and whatever you want across your home. Now, what I showed earlier in the video was some more advanced AI stuff. And I'm going to be putting out a much longer step-by-step -step guide for some of that stuff. But I wanted to keep this simple now to just introduce this new concept of taking, you know, an old retro phone like this and applying it to something pretty modern like Home Assistant. So I'll drop a bunch of links down below that might help you get started even with more of some of the advanced stuff. But if you have Home Assistant installed and with a few extra hardware pieces, you can do some pretty cool stuff. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.